now we're going to assemble the base of the printer. You're going to need the shorter aluminum bars, the stepper motor assembly, you're going to need M3 by 10 millimeter bolts and M3 nuts. Now first step here, we're going to take the M3 by 10 bolt and M3 nut. Yeah, your two bottom holes here is where you're going to put the two bolts on the top side. You're going to take your bolt and your nut and you're going to start it off and you're just going to barely start it off where it just grabs enough and leave a space there in between. So you're going to do that for these top two and you're going to do it for the bottom two. The reason we're keeping the nuts loose from the bolts is you're going to need that space there so you can slide the aluminum bar through. So you need to get the, the nut to line up just right on the bar. You want to finger tighten it so you can hold it in place and then you want to tighten it a half turn tightness. For the purpose of this build, we're going to refer to this as bar 1 and this one bar 2. So once you've finished assembling the bars for the front, 1 and 2, you want to do the left side, 1 and 2 as well. This is as far as you want to go before you add the other assemblies to the end of the bars. We have a couple more steps that we need to do before we put the other assemblies on. Okay, now we have our front and left side. For the ABS model, we want to install six nuts into this top channel of bar one. If it's a PLA model, we only need to put two in here. ABS six, PLA model two. For this next step, this is for our the LCD upgrade. Now if you did not order the LCD upgrade I would highly recommend doing this step in case you decide to upgrade later and you don't want to have to disassemble your printer to add it. Alright so bar one, bar two, front side you're gonna put three nuts. So now that we have our six nuts on the top and three nuts on the front of bar one and three nuts on the front of bar two, we can attach our second assembly onto the end. Now that we've attached the other mortar assembly, we're going to work on the left side. On the top of bar one, we're going to put four nuts. And on the front of bar two, we're going to put two nuts. Now we can attach our third mortar assembly. Now that we're done mounting the third mortar assembly, we're going to start with the right side. For this, we're going to do it a little differently. First, we'll set bar one and bar two aside. So for the first step for the right side, we're going to take bar two, and we need to add four nuts to the top. We're going to put our four nuts on the top. We're going to slide them over to the center. Now we're going to bring bar two and attach it to the base. For this, we need to do it a little differently than we did front and left. Slide your nut across and try to align it with your hole. Now you will do this for both sides of bar two. So on bar one, we're going to install seven nuts onto the top. So your assembly is going to be the same as bar two or bar one. 